As you come to the oh. office door. Dad, <laughs> Dad, Dad, it's me. Yes. Dad, it's Jester. I'm here to say hi. Open the door. Okay. <laughs> hi. You, as you walk inside his office, you can see there's a. Uh, his desk currently is strewn with some papers, and uh, he's putting something away and kind of turning in his chair to you. Ah, I had no idea you'd be joining me. Well, I didn't either. We just found out. Well, welcome. Are your friends here as well? They are. They're drinking. I told them it's on the house. Sure. <laughs> What have you been up to? Business. What have you been up to? Oh my god, you don't. I tell him everything, just like a launch into the whole thing. <laughs> As it progresses, he like just leans further and further back in his chair until he hits the back of the chair. Yeah, so anyway, we got to find this weird, creepy lady who totally saw me scrying on her. We got to find out what to deal with it so we can break the curse. Then we got to go to the negotiations, then Traveler Con, and somewhere we're fitting into that Clay's family stuff. <laughs> One of these days, <laughs> I'm going to have to teach you something I've learned at a very young age, which is how to, how to not have to do everything yourself. It's much easier. Okay, I'm okay with that. Teach me <laughs> your ways. <laughs> In time. Have you called mom? Have you sent her a letter? Have you gone to see her? Have you been like, oh my gosh, I miss you? No, I, there's been a lot to take care of here. There's, in the midst of, well, conflict, if done right, in the Empire can be a very profitable endeavor, but one has to be very on top of their uh, organization to maintain it. So I've been been working a lot. Will you make me, well, will you do me a favor? Possibly. If, by any chance, when people offer you things or whatever, you come across smuggled items um, that resemble the, the beacons that I told you about. Right, right. If you come across anything like that, will you let me know before you try to sell it to another person? For you, yes. Thank you. I'll send you messages every once in a while just so you can get it to me if you, you know. Because we travel around a lot, you will know where I am, so. Of course. Okay. Um, if I don't respond, don't take it personally, I might be indisposed. Like, how? Many things. Mm. Okay, 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 here's the thing. What if I send you a message, and you should have like a way to communicate with me that you're indisposed, like so that I can know you're not just like in trouble, but you're like boning somebody, or you're, you know, like in a meeting or something. You could be like, mm, or you could be like, what if you just like cough? When I said, or like you, you say like. A cough, a cough will okay. do well. I'll cough and um, we'll pick it up another time. All right, all right, all right. Look at us, we have a code. <laughs> um, can I sleep in the room tonight that you said we could have? Sure, sure. <laughs> Thank I'll, you, Dad. I'll, I'll arrange it. <laughs> He laughs in spite of himself. You can see him trying to organize, being in, the, in a deep moment of thought, and the the whirlwind of chaos that is Jester just blowing in like a storm. And in spite of his momentary frustration, he can't help but crack a smile. Well, say hello to your friends for me. Okay. Close the door on your way out. 